believe it or not, we're like a month away from DC Fandome, and there's been chirps. I think that's the best way to put it. It's like... Been well. Yeah, it's just, there's like one, literally one bird in the distance, and it's like, Fandome, you're like, shut a bird. <laughs> Damn it, D. <laughs> Somebody will get that reference. <laughs> I, I I appreciate that reference. Uh, so, look, DC Fandom, there's a lot of rumors swirling around on what we can get. Supergirl series has been one that many people believe is going to be announced, starring the new Supergirl, of course. I'm saying, didn't we, didn't we have a Supergirl? Well, that, Did that, that just, get cancelled? Uh, that got cancelled, yeah. <laughs> Which, again... Brings it in line with they've been canceling and greenlighting projects on canceled projects from the CW. So. It's true, it's true. Uh, Good Warner Brothers. It's, uh, we're not cannibalizing the other ones. I don't know why that exists. We're canceling this and greenlighting it over here. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Um, I mean, I like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> say, like, they're like thinking like different properties. Yeah, it's, but I, yeah, I don't. I really don't understand that mindset of, you know, cancel a project, green light the same project, but, you know, put it on a different platform. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, CW has Super Girl, HBO Max is going to have Super Hyphen Girl. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> logo a little bit. No, 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 Mitch, you're missing it. HBO is going to have Super Girl, where the girl is spelled the G U R L, and oh, she's a TikToker. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, no. I was like, if you really want to go different, just go Power Girl. Power Girl would... Yeah, good luck with that one today. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, that would be a hard sell. <laughs> Without naming the obvious two things, name me a personality trait of Power Girl. Uh, she's aggressive. <laughs> I mean, there's some, that, that's one of the two. It's aggressive in a certain fact. All the tweens do something aggressive related to her, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, poor Power Girl. I mean, like, Supergirl's one of the rumored ones. Power Girl, I mean, they could pull it off. They could change the character completely from the ground up, which I wouldn't be surprised, because they are doing the multiverse thing. One thing we keep hearing about, which they confirmed it and nothing's happened since... Where's Static? You confirmed it last year. There's been no development. <laughs> Ask Michael B. Jordan. Uh, but yeah, he's doing a Superman now. The is he? No, he's doing both. Isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His studio is producing, I believe, Static, and he's doing Superman. Which, let's be real, they're gonna push Superman before they push Static. Unfortunately. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's down. You know, he's... Static is a risk. Which I, I... No. No, I, I don't it's agree. not really a risk. It's like it's in the public perception of people knowing who Static Shock is, it's you know, people from kids from the 90s will know who Static is. Mm -hmm. But where was Static after that? Yeah, uh, well, they buried him. Yeah, they exactly. buried him. <laughs> uh, uh, from that sense, I can I understand why they class it as a risk kind of dumb yeah but it's just like you put it out of there you know he, he will get the attention from last last time i checked i think for like daytime shows at the time static was the highest rated one consistently like in the top five being watched with viewership there was a time and mind you i was still very young at this age but of course i started to get into everything and the numbers and like the comic book shop down literally the street where i lived they would let me sit in there after they close and they'd be like, look, we live across the street. We'll come back at like nine. We'll just let you out and you read all the comics you want while for the hours were closed. So they would like let me look at all the numbers and things and everything and like what they knew. And like, you know, there was like things going on that in the early days of the internet. Right. And I remember the talk when the first big like numbers started to drop for these things, like the cartoons and the comics that were hitting, that were becoming more mainstream and available on the internet. And every single week, I go in there, I'd be like, so check this out. And the top mentioned things across the board were Batman Beyond, Justice League, and Static Shock. You couldn't find somebody that didn't know what those were 
they were so prominent in pop culture because of the like perfect time and age that they dropped in. And somehow, over 20 years since then, WB has managed to drop the ball with both of those or all three of those so hard that it's an uphill battle to sell these characters. I just, mm. it blows my mind. And it's like, we're sitting here talking about DC fandom. We're like, man, you know what's really risky? Static Shock and Batman Beyond. I, I never fathomed you, somebody could say that realistically if you look at back at the history just 10, 15 years ago. It's just, it's insane, but boy, what a what a time to be alive. And some of you guys, if you if you go back, you just use like the way back with machine or whatever the hell. Go back and look at old reports on Static Shock and Batman Beyond to know what I'm talking about. Where like pop culture was dominated with those shows. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And the funny thing, and the real funny thing is, if you're talking about comics, the only reason like like the some part thing yeah, the second part of static fails because they did uh dc did not promote it at all mm-hmm. i think for issue one where it was the cools back for the second volume i think retailers only ordered about like five thousand copies oh yeah because static was one of the i guess after milestone static was the highest uh ordered com- comic and uh from looking at interviews and and research um, mm-hmm. DC and Milestone, they were butt heads constantly, especially with uh, Dwayne McDuffie on certain things on what Milestone could and couldn't do, or what they want Static to do. So, yeah. It's... <sighs> well, maybe we'll get an update on it. Maybe we won't. We don't know. It's WB. Um, It sounds like we might, though, get Black Canary officially announced, and Bane has been so. kind of floating around. They want to do something with Bane. Um. I'll believe Black Canary. I mean, I really, really hope they announced that. I, that mm-hmm. character was so. Uh, is is gonna is Bing gonna be the, the Luchador or is he gonna be? I'm not uh, being a black guy. Um, yeah. Uh, look, I'm gonna believe <laughs> that they're they're probably gonna toss Bane in as a villain into Black Canary. Therefore, the show can take place in Gotham so they can sell the Batman factor. Yeah, I can see. It. Uh, so I'm going to converge he... these rumors into one, and there you go. Why can't he be a luchador supervillain like he used to be? Um, oh, he will be, but he'll be what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> White luchador? <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. I'm like, wait, I watch a lot of wrestling. Why isn't this computing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, damn it. It's Yeah. Um. Then everyone would try and find panels proving that Bane is just a, a white guy. The panel. That's, that, that, that's how people go now these days. It's true, though. It's true. Um, I don't know. Like... So, I saw, there, was a, there was a conversation on Twitter today about characters' race. And like, anyone can play them. They're half white. So, like, he's like, well, just because they're half something doesn't mean they have to be that white half like yeah yeah <laughs> now proper going on it's like yeah but it's half white it's like you're not getting it I... why is your why are you so thick god damn it <laughs> you understand what i'm saying yeah i, I, I just looked in it's like i i, I can't <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I can't with twitter anymore no 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 so i guess what we're saying is look we could take a stab at anything they're gonna announce they'll probably announce the complete opposite um here here's the 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 one people are hoping for this let's give it a zero percent chance Zack snyder's justice league 2 zero zero it's negative I, infinity chance <laughs> negative infinity. Uh, he's off making his the thieves universe i don't know what what do people call his zombie universe now the army trash. of universe uh, trash i guess yeah that might stick i'm, I'm not sure i haven't seen the, the prequel that doesn't have zombies so i don't know is that actually out yet i have no clue i'm not gonna watch it i don't i was gonna say there's no way that's come out <laughs> i am not watching a prequel to a zombie film that doesn't do anything with the zombies if i'm watching zombie content i want zombies in it that's like that's like giving me a resident evil without you know the mansion it's like oh this takes place before it's what chris does when he's doing taxes great (laughs) i'm excited get out of here fantastic oh it comes out the end of october 
Oh, okay, well. I guess it's a perfect enough time. It's spooky time to release a film about bank heists. It doesn't have zombies. It's genius. <sighs> Damn it. Don't They'll wear a pumpkin mask and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh...